Twitch.tv and I'm bringing you this training program. This training program is a series of one to eight webinars, which we've been running over several weeks um, and basically has been teaching people the basics of Hotels TV as a business opportunity, taking them right through from finding clients through, uh, uh, you know, finding the hotels, uh, creating the PBAs and into business development and now we're at the graduation stage. So we're going to take you through this part um, and really, I guess, summarize what we've learned so far and what is coming up in the next parts. Uh, because training doesn't stop with Hotels TV. We've gone through the foundation type studies, but, but actually, um, What's really important is to keep people really engaged and keep you up to date with information and also make sure that the, um, the, 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 the areas that you're focusing on are current and they're discussed and there's always someone to answer your questions and so on. So that's why we continue on. We have weekly Q&A sessions coming up. We have monthly um, uh, webinars on topics as well. So there's lots of really good things that you can get involved in. Okay, so graduation and the next stages is where we are. So congratulations, you've made it. Uh, what you've learned and understood is the order of operation, hopefully by now. And some of you may have joined us a little bit uh, later in the series and they're still backtracking through a few different videos. That's the beauty about doing webinars and videos is that you can replay them over and over and over again, which is great. All right, so. Um, you have or are actively working on events at the moment. Um, you should be. Uh, by this stage, you should be uh, up to a couple of events at least, I guess, through that particular process, depending on what your goals are as well. And you've completed your one-to-one -one training, and your one-to-one -one training was weekly. And if you haven't, then by all means still book in for that because we, you know, we love to keep talking to you as well because it's a way that we can really make sure you're on track and we're still engaging with you. It's really important to us. Um, also, you have a direction and you have a niche. And I think the niche side of it's really, really important as well. Um, you have a focus. I think having a focus really helps drive and motivate agents and um, gives you more of a chance to repeat business in the future rather than the scattergun approach. And you're now looking at further developing your business in lots of different ways. So that may be you want to make more bookings per event or you just simply want to make more events happen. Um, so that's, that's all about business development. Okay, so by now you should clearly understand five steps to booking revenue. This is the five steps of order or operation. Number one is finding the clients, finding the events. The, your clients are your event organizers more often than not, they may may not be, depending on what you're focusing on, but generally it is the event. Uh, sometimes it's actually the venue that is your, your ultimate client, depending on the relationships that you've actually set up. Okay, you've, um, you know how to select and recruit the hotels to match the event, events? That's really, really important. And going into the events, uh, as we would have shown you originally, that's giving you a really good um, idea of the hotels uh, by, by researching those events and looking into the history of those events. You're also, um, you know, getting a really good idea of the types of hotels that you should be contracting as well. Okay, creating a PBA, you should know how to do that by now. You may not be, you know, uh, it may not be perfect, but it just keeps getting better and better and better. And, and it's very simple. The PBA is just a structure. The getting it better really just means giving it more content. So more images, more relevant information, that's how you make it better. And that's your shop window. So the better and the more relevant you make it and the promotions and the special that you have standing out, then ultimately the more bookings you're going to make because people who arrive on that page uh, and this is what you'll see through your analytics um, people who arrive on that page will book uh, as opposed to click away and go somewhere else because the information they're looking at is not relevant just because we're connected to the event organizers doesn't mean that the 
guests have to book with you. They still have a choice. So you still have to make your content compelling and relevant and interesting and exactly what they're looking for. If they're looking for a deal and you've promised them a deal on your marketing, then that's exactly what they should be getting. Okay, and you should know now how to link it and to promote it and then how to analyze the clicks and the links that are coming through from that particular page. Um, and then you should know how to manage bookings as well. So that process should um, really be everything from down to an automated booking to a manual booking. And once again, you may not be perfect. There's a million different ways to book, but you, may, you should by now have a reasonable idea about how the bookings work and how the flow works. Okay, and then you just repeat. Okay, automating your marketing and sales funnel. That's something else that we've talked about through the training process. Once you've got those five steps down and you understand those, it's now how to start to make your business more automated. Look, you can choose to keep doing the same thing over and over again, but automation will not only save you time, it actually makes you money because it's still working even when you're tied up and working with a particular event and doing some bookings. Your marketing is actually still working for you. It's still getting in front of potential uh, event clients uh, who will hopefully eventually turn into clients. Um, so once again, leads. Leads are the event organizers that you put into that top of the funnel, the, just the contacts just finding out who the main person is that you actually need to speak to, and then into um, the prospects side of things. They become a prospect uh, when they become warm, when you start working on them. Um, so you go from leads, cold, into prospects, warm, and then hot, hot, hot is customers after that. So that's what we want. And so you can't get customers until you've got the leads and turn them into prospects and then they've become customers. And then what happens at the end is the money starts to flow because that's where the bookings are because all your PBA is set up perfectly and the event organizer is helping you market it and people are coming through and they're booking because it's time to book. It's as simple as that. Okay, so automating the marketing very briefly. How do we automate marketing? If you're using a CRM, you simply enter the contact details in you plan your campaign, uh, basically with what you wanted to say and how long you want the campaign to run. Um, you set up the campaign and then you press go and your drag a tag or however your CRM works and you execute. And then what you do is start to analyze the results uh, and then adjust your campaigns accordingly. So learn from every mail shot, every campaign, everything that you send out, every conversation you have and record in your CRM. You should learn from it. Uh, and slowly but surely you'll start to build up a set of numbers where you can start to predict or um, project uh, what business you could do for the next month, next six months, the next 12 months and beyond. Okay. And then once you've analyzed it, always follow up your customers by email and phone. We've got this, uh, we've got this real culture uh, in the world today that everyone buys something, nobody sells anything anymore. Um, and that's because people, websites expect people to click on them and make a sale, make a buy something without being sold to, without being talked to. Let's call it talked to rather than sold to. Well, I can tell you firsthand experience that those companies will be missing out on a lot of opportunities because they're not talking to their clients. So yes, use technology to facilitate your marketing, to make it easier and more streamlined for you, and then build it into a very warm contact or a client, uh, a customer, basically through that, build them into that. Um, Oh, sorry, a prospect, and then before they become a customer, so they become a prospect. But talk to them in that prospecting stage, talk to them. They will become a customer so much faster when you actually talk to them and convince them that you're the person to go with rather than waiting for them to come around to the idea and then action that. So 
Yes, send them the information, get them all warm so that you know they know what you do, and then get them on the phone and charm them and talk to them and make sure that they, um, they really understand what your proposition is and what value you're going to add to the whole process that they're in. That's really, really critical to the whole, the whole thing. Yes, use technology, but don't substitute, you know, a one-to-one -one conversation. All right. So keep building your business. Be active. Activity is the main point, really. It's, it's, you just need to keep active, keep talking to people, keep marketing, keep sending the messages out, researching, and as I said before, keep analysing that as well. That's really important. Um, study industry news. You should be connecting with hotelmarketing.com um, just to understand what the hotels are thinking and they'll also give you an idea of what's moving in the marketplace. Um, also set alerts uh, and newsletter um, opt-ins for events. So find all the event companies that you want to work with and every time there's an event announced, they're going to let you know. It's so, so not only are you going to find them on Google, but you're going to have these events actually coming to you through your inbox. And you go, great, there's another event, pick up the phone or, or, or get the event organizer's details from it. You then put it into your CRM. You then send them some email campaigns and then you pick up the phone and talk to them. You know, it's a simple round around process. You've just got to set up good habits to make that happen. Then keep building your list. Keep building your list of organizers. Keep building your list of guests as well. Um, you know, because they're the three that you're building. You're, you're building three lists. You're building a list of event organizers. You're building a list of hotels that are relevant to those events, but you always keep those hotel lists going because that's going to make it easier for you to contact them the second and third and fourth and fifth event that you do. And then you're starting to build up guests as well. These are your bookings starting to come through. What are you going to do with the guests? Well, they're things we're going to talk to in later um, webinars. But from an opt-in perspective, if they've opted in, you can actually use them um, to send email campaigns out to different events in the future, okay? And we'll talk more about that. But that starts to build other business to maybe other events or also uh, back to the same event again in year two and year three if you're working with that same company over and over again. Really, really important. And there's other things. Having that database... The other thing that database really gives you is also the ability, if you're going to do any Facebook marketing in the future, remember that's optional, but if you were, you can track these people because they're on your website, they're on the Hotels TV website. That means you can track them easier because uh, uh, you can create an audience on Facebook, it's called a lookalike audience, um, of your ideal segment by uploading your guests, your opt-in guests into Facebook. It starts, Facebook then has a way of creating an algorithm or they've created an algorithm that finds similar audiences to those people. So if you're promoting specific events and you want to find a similar audience to promote to, to get even more bookings, than just linking to the event organizer. That is a very, very good way of doing that. But we will, I won't confuse things now. We will discuss that in later chapters when we get to further marketing tips and techniques. Self-development. YouTube is a great resource. And what I mean by self-development is, is your own ability to communicate with people, your own sales skills, your, your ability to market. I mean, anything you want to know or get better at. And I think we, it's a, all of us need to be, um, you know, look within and see, and we all, we all have things that we're good at and we all have things that we're not so good at, strengths and weaknesses. And I think we all have an, an idea um, what our weaknesses are. So why not work on those weaknesses? You can also work on your strengths and make them even stronger. So, you know, YouTube is a great resource for that. Or this, this, but you should always invest in yourself um, it might be things to do with motivation and confidence. It could be things to do with sales. It could be things to do with presentation techniques. It could be social marketing engagements. I, uh, most of it's free, but there are also some very, very good courses that you can sign up to. Um, I've actually been listening to um, a number of podcasts, um, which you can just get on your smartphone. They're free. 
they have all sorts of really interesting business topics. I'm actually um, going through one uh, which is called the art of paid traffic. Now, the, the interesting thing about that with the art of paid traffic on that podcast is that not only is it teaching you about paid traffic like Facebook and AdWords, Google AdWords, but he talks to entrepreneurs. He talks to people like you and me who are in it, their struggles and their issues and their problems so that you know you can relate to these people and you can see how they got out of it. Also, quite often, it can just make you feel normal because you're actually not that far off. You know, you're, 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 you're experiencing the same anxieties or the same, um, maybe the same successes um, as other people. So, so by joining these groups and listening and venting and listening again and, and, and looking at your own situation, it can be incredibly helpful and motivating to keep you on track. Remember, because you're home-based, a lot of you are home-based, some of you are office-based, a lot of you are home-based and a lot of you are working by yourself. So you need to surround yourselves with these motivating resources to keep you going and keep you interested as, as much as, you know, we, we will always do that. We will always fire off as much information to do that as well. But it's really important once again you, you do that and you concentrate on any strengths and weaknesses. Um, also, the Hotels TV YouTube channel, you've all got the links for that now. Um, so you can actually all... Um, uh, basically you know go through all the different ones there any any new videos we make we always put on there so it's a really um really good resource okay excuse me <laughs> caught an ice cube okay um keep analyzing which is the next step it's really important that you're always measuring and whatever's working for you keep going Keep focusing on the stuff that's working for you, but always try new things. It's really important to to try new things. You you can open up a an absolute gold mine of uh, either clients or guests or uh, opportunity or lists um, by researching really well, analysing information, um, analyse the click throughs of any of the events that you've been working on. Um, that tells you a lot. You know, especially when you go back and you think, okay, could that have been better? Could I have had better information at the top of the page? Or could I have got some better promotions? Also, part of analyzing is also comparing your rates. You should also compare your rates to any rates that the guests can get online. That can make a massive difference to your bookings. So, you know, not only are you connected to the event organizer, which is great, but these people will probably still compare your rates. So, you know, it's important that we're offering really good value, honestly. So make sure that, you know, if booking.com's carrying a, a rate the same or cheaper, then you get onto the hotel and you get them to give you a better rate. Because there's no point you doing all that hard work and you suggesting and recommending that hotel. And then they go and compare prices and end up booking either at the hotel or through booking.com. You, it's a waste of time. So make sure your rates are always good. Um, or you can always select a different hotel. You can always move to a different property. Use past clients. Use our reputation. Get to know our, our clients. So it's really important that, you know, you, you're, you, when you come into this business, you're not coming in cold. You're actually coming in to a company that has done hundreds and hundreds of events all over the world. So get to know the events, some of the events that are on the system, and you can see them under the Hotels TV forward slash agents tab and go into each agent or even some of the cities that are there, not maybe agent specific. You can see a lot of events that are there and, and that can really give you an idea. In your materials folder on Dropbox, you also have a past clients presentation, which shows you a lot of the um, past clients and the results. In fact, it even shows you commissions, number of bookings, things like that, uh, which is really interesting and helpful information. And earnings. I think there's earnings on there too. Um, ask for help. Uh, we all get stuck. We all have issues. We all run into roadblocks, mental blocks, times that we can't do anything or, you know, 
try and identify these things as early as you can in the process that keeps your motivation up um, always ask for help always schedule another one-to-one -one meeting so that we can have a chat it's really important to us that uh, you know we can um, jump on these things we've been through it ourselves there's been very few situations I guess in 20 years that we haven't been through um, so hopefully we can guide you and show you that there's some light in the tunnel or um, you know or maybe it's something really really small and you just needs a couple of tweaks and all of a sudden it's on track and quite often that's the case with looking at your PBAs quite often it's some wording or some rates or you put you haven't put the rack grade in to show a discount um, so it doesn't look very good as far as value for money once you once you make those tweaks as long as you've got the link from the event organizer and those links are coming through then um, it, you know you soon have the opportunity to convert a lot more successfully by just getting some advice okay what I want to do is just show you some of the events that we've been working on also during this training process and these are coming up soon there's the hotel show in Africa so this is this is the main hotel show in Africa fantastic one to be a part of um, that's between the 23rd and the 25th bookings coming through for that at the moment um, we should get a surge uh, in the next couple of weeks as well um, before the event so that's great also happening at the same time there's there's several major events it's actually um, Africa trade week um, and and the conference company we're working with is a major conference company but this particular event itself is um, is huge you know over 2700 uh, attendees 144 exhibits inside and uh, people from 26 countries so you know it's uh, fabulous that we're a part of that bookings coming through for that because there's a lot of people that need accommodation um, another one in the Midlands uh, which is the uh, uh, Quan Grand Slam and this was actually there was three of these tournaments and there's also another tournament in Ireland and there's some um, there's another uh, tournament for the people from this event going over to Luxembourg so what quite often you find that one event can can snowball into many once you get the confidence up of the organizer they start to let you in more and more uh, because they realize they need the help as well with accommodation and once you get more proficient at the processes um, then you can really start to work with these types of events year after year and maximize the number of bookings also planning ahead um, and planning a, a, a really good marketing strategy in year two and year three is really really useful because you're so much more wiser let's call it in year two than you were perhaps in year one with events like this so um, so that's very good in Australia we're working with 23 events for ISCA which is the International Sport Karate Association over here they have events events uh, all up and down the country uh, at some point they're kind of running them every two weeks which is is a bit of a challenge to actually have to keep up with from uh, a hotel partner um, but um, it's a good problem to have um, and once again this is another one very very similar to the last one whereas the more events you work with the more you get to know what they're looking for and the types of hotels which are getting booked so you know if you start with a few bookings for for each hotel at these events that's fine you soon build it up you know especially once you build your knowledge and confidence up as well and um, the sushi events the other one it's been rescheduled um, so that'll be coming up soon but if you if you see on that page this show, this highlights the value of Facebook as well because um, there's 89,000, there'd be over that, be more like over 100,000 now um, of people on Facebook actually interested in this event. So 100,000 people that have indicated their interest just on Facebook alone. And that's why as part of your marketing strategy you should always be linking to the event organizer, but it should also be linking to the, um, the social networks 
of the events too and starting to work your way in and connect to companies individuals and so on for these events now here's a really interesting one as well um, as many of you know and it's not something we introduce straight away but as many of you know we do video production and hotel marketing services and we, we have done for many many years we find video that's why we call it hotels.tv is a great way to promote hotels and show hotels off and um, our agent in Mauritius hands has um, just contracted a hotel resort and spa and uh, put a contract together it's worth about five thousand dollars of which he gets uh, a very nice chunk of commission from that and that is to shoot a video in our definitive style and we've got actually some drones being used in this one and some great shots with a very talented videographer and we'll have a presenter in shot as well so that's going to be shot in about a week's time and uh, then it'll be available to see soon but then what we do with it is we then optimize that through video search like google videos and youtube and also we promote that out to directly over three million people we have on the database to promote that hotel and to run promotions and specials for them uh, for the next um, for the next 12 months basically once we've set it up initially and we've linked them all in then it's a pretty easy process from that so that's something that you have at your disposal um, if you want to look further into that go to htvmarketing.com htvmarketing.com and what that does it shows you exactly what we have to offer the videos that we produce and then the distribution we have for that content um, and that can be a great way to earn some money with the hotels that you're actually working with so you know that's a it's another good way of building your relationship with existing hotels and that's why we kind of introduce this a little bit later to you as an option if you want to get more involved um, is because you know initially you don't have really strong relationships with the hotels but later as you grow uh, and you're working with some really interesting hotels there may be the opportunity because you've got such great relationships with these hotels as well so um, so yeah so keep that in mind but that's uh, that's a great one for hands a beautiful hotel in a great part of the world Mauritius is absolutely stunning okay so let's now talk about the next stages so the next stages are the weekly updates so we'll be having we'll be continuing these uh, webinars um, running training topics Q&A each week it's a little bit more open uh, after this initial training period where we'll just openly discuss some various topics and then you'll have an opportunity to ask lots of questions around those and hopefully those topics are very much relating to the things that you're working on currently that's the whole idea um, you can always email us at support at hotels.tv um, if you have any suggestions or things that you would like us to cover uh, we always obviously would love to hear from you because we want to make sure these are as relevant as possible So obviously we're, we're talking to you anyway, and we're going to pick topics that you have brought up in, in our conversations um, but And we're going to keep them discreet of course, but uh, yeah, it's just a great way to keep the conversation going um, Interviews with agents. We're going to bring you some interviews with some of the agents as well We find more and more that that's a really interesting thing to do because um, you get to see the other agents, but you get to hear about what they're doing, how they're keeping themselves active, what techniques they've developed, what works, what doesn't, you know, and, and that's, uh, that's pretty exciting to be starting. Um, new videos all on the YouTube training channel. So anything we produce, any videos we make, even this webinar, it all ends up on the, our YouTube training channel in your documents, um, in your welcome email you have the link to that if you just log in to hotels.tv admin the link is now in the top section of the message of the day i think it is um, you'll also have the link to the youtube training channel there and there's lots of different videos and resources and you should really familiarize yourself so 
uh, we, you know, we want to keep that conversation going. Remember to subscribe to that channel as well, because anytime we add a new video, you'll be automatically updated. Emails, um, web service reports, issues, adjustments, uh, and updates. Uh, we will always keep these coming through to you. So if there's ever issues or downtime or anything, which we don't have very often, but if there was, we would email you. So make sure you're connected to your at Hotels TV email address. Um, that's really, really important um, because that's where most of the mail will go. Um, extra one-to-one -one training options. Um, there's, there's lots of different levels of training we can do with you. And depending on how concentrated it is, um, we, there may, may be a package or a charged package that we can offer you, uh, such as the one below that point six, which is lead generation client acquisition services. So, for example, that is set up so that if you would like us to generate the actual events for you, we can do that. We have to charge you um, because it's something we teach you to do, obviously, and we... we expect you to be able to do that. Some people are comfortable with it, some people are not. As you get full, more familiar and you've done one or two events, normally you're pretty comfortable talking to these event organizers. But if you're not, that's an option for you. That's just one of the the, the training options or the extra options that uh, we can provide you. Obviously training will still continue anyway and you've got your support, so you can always contact support and that's always included. Um, in your hosting and support fees anyway. So it's only just the, if there's anything really specific we have to spend a lot of time with you on or you'd like us to, then we can discuss that and work out what that is and, and how much time it's going to take and, and take it from there and just treat it on a bespoke level. So stay tuned to your at hotels.tv email address for any updates. Let's keep talking and um, keep your feedback coming as well because that's really important to the development of everything, including the technology. Just a bit of a sneak peek at some of the new developments that we're actually working on. Um, we have some website adjustments happening actually at the moment, and we're gonna be changing part of that homepage to a more event-focused homepage. Um, rather than more of a destination or hotel event, uh, hotel homepage. So there's some little tweaks we're making. I mean, not a lot of people hit that homepage. Most people go directly through to your PBA. Um, but we, yeah, we want to make some changes to that anyway. Uh, we'll be adding more video. There'll be the opportunity as well for you to do more video, as we've talked about in some of them. If you can shoot yourself uh, a, a short video in a hotel or or with some directions or something like, look, anything like that really helps. It really engages audiences probably three times what a static photo would does, photo does. You know, it is, video really, really works. And it doesn't have to be an expensive way of doing it. You can shoot this off your smartphone. Just, um, you know, there, there are even, there are even YouTube training, free YouTube training on how to shoot your own, uh, smartphone video of yourself talking, even tips on how to set up, how to do the lighting, how to hold the phone, uh, what to say, you know, there's so, so many tips for doing this. If you're not familiar or you're not confident with doing it, just jump onto YouTube and just have a look at some of the content. I think you'll be really surprised how much of a difference it can make and, um, also for your confidence, you know. So that's really important too. Um, new app, we're, we're still developing that. Uh, it's been a long time in planning, um, but it's really important we get this right. So what that means is that, um, you know, when you create a PBA, um, uh, you'll be able to give events the option of actually distributing your app or allowing the guests to actually book and download and book an app from the actual event website. It's going to be really interesting when that happens because you will find more and more of your guests actually start to use that while they're in the hotel, um, which is going to be good. So make sure that your articles and guides and your sections information is full of really good content about that city, 
about the hotel. If the hotel's got any discounts they can do in the bar or the restaurant, make sure they're on those articles and guides pages because that will automatically be distributed to them through your normal website admin area when you add that information and it'll come out on an app but usable like with maps when they're right there in the actual destination. So really, really um, interesting things to come. Um, and also offers, you know, because we know we're there, they're there, there, there's a potential to add in all sorts of other offers um, to those people. Um, and then they use you afterwards. You know, that's the, the, the really critical thing about this is they come back to you after this because you're still in their pocket. They had a good experience with you. They got great value and they're going to come back and go, hey, can you help me with this? So that builds clients as well. Pre-event marketing services. Um, okay. Um, the pre-event marketing services are really about the recruitment of the new events as we spoke about. Um, you know, that is something that is new, um, but we've found it's been very, very successful so far. And we want to keep that going because, you know, we've been, we've been collecting these um, clients, these events for a long time. So you can tap into some of that um, by, um, by taking advantage of some of those marketing services. Um, the in-event marketing services are uh, also what we're going to be introducing, as I um, sort of talked about very briefly before um, and, and in previous videos, you can increase the number of bookings from your events by, by using Facebook and Instagram ads. It's as simple as that. Not by, not by just being scattergun approach. It's, it's by actually putting a pixel on the site. A pixel is a is a way of tracking people like a cookie that, that uh, Facebook uses. And then you run very cheap five, ten dollar a day campaigns, just targeting the pop up ads on Facebook, which will only appear to the people that are attending the event. So think about that for a second. So the people have registered to the, the event, they've gone on, they know they're going, but they haven't yet booked their hotel accommodation. So by doing this and using Facebook, what you're able to actually do is every time they're on Facebook, your ad pops up and go, hey, you've booked your ticket to attend the event or you've registered for the event, but you don't have a hotel booked yet. Click this link. We're the official booking agents. Click it and go through. Now, you could even do a video of that, a short video on your mobile phone, as you've seen me do lots and lots of videos. Just simply using your mobile is, is a great way to do that. And in 10 or 15 seconds, you can explain exactly what, they, what they're missing out on, what they need to go and do next. And it's a, just such a great way to do it. That can double the amount of bookings that you're doing per event when you when you uh, are more active. And if you want us to do it, once again, it's an external service that we can provide. You know, there's a bit of learning, a bit of setup and little bits and pieces, but it um, can be very good. Um, so it doesn't cost you a lot but in, uh, in Facebook ads, but at the end of the day, it's, it can, has the potential to really increase the revenue per event. Okay, so basically that's it. Um, that's the graduation stage. I think the main takeaways from this are really, because we've had a bit of a recap with it all, is firstly, congratulations, you know, for getting through this far. Fantastic. It means that you've really got the basics there. It by no means is the end of training. Um, training will keep continuing and continuing. Um, you know, we have a, a real interest in making sure that we keep helping you and keep driving this forward and, and, and we'd love to hear back from you on that. Um, the takeaways are really stick to your plan. You know, have that plan, find your niche and really stick to it and drive it and drive it hard and be really active. Set goals for yourself if you haven't done already. You know, say you want one event a month or you want two events a month or you want 50 bookings a month. Quite a lot of these goals are always set to financial goals as well. So it may be a sum of money you're looking to earn by the end of the year, then work that backwards, divide it by the average event, the average revenue from an event, and that'll tell you how many events you need to work with 
in order to hit those goals. Analyze and use what works for you, so important. Um, use technology, uh, that's what it's there for. And there are so many great pieces of technology. Quite often um, doing this uh, marketing and listening to YouTube uh, uh, podcasts and watching YouTube, they suggest and you can see them using great technology that you could subscribe to for not too much a month that will revolutionize, revolutionize what you're actually doing. And most of the best technology I've found out about is simply through that because sometimes these podcasts have a section that say, look, this, we just wanted to show you the type of subscriptions that we have to which technologies, which plat platforms, which CRM we use, all these things. Because quite often, on average, most companies probably use at least four or five third-party technologies to help run their day. And that's everything from a calendar to a CRM to an email um, campaign or if it's a training course, it could be a platform or there's so many different ones. I mean, we use we use quite a few different ones. This, just what we're doing this webinar on is one. You know, but what we what we do our email campaigning and our databasing from is um, a CRM uh, is another one. Agile, which you've heard me talk about before, well, one of hundreds of CRMs that are out there. Um, so you know, most people by by watching these webinars uh, and watching YouTube and listening to podcasts, you also get an idea of how people are managing themselves using technology. So it's really important, especially if you're based at home and you're not in a co-working office or you don't have that influence around you all the time, it's really important that you're online and digging as much information out to keep you relevant. Otherwise, you become a dinosaur in this market because everyone's moved on and they're all using this technology, but you're still doing it by hand, you know? So please, please make sure. We will do our best to do this through the webinars as well, um, and we'll keep giving you this information. But keep on also educating yourself and motivating yourself. It's so important. Um, so be active. Never give up. Keep asking for help and support and keep building a great business. So that's it for the graduation stage. Congratulations to uh, to you all for, for, for this so far. Um, we'll be back next week with some more training and some more Q&A sessions and another webinar. Um, send us any um, tips or any ideas you have for that yourself. Um, send that through to support at hotels.tv. And um, that's it. And we look forward to seeing you on the next session. Okay. Bye for now.